we will need an oil paint with a great diversity of colors. For the colors that you prefer, it is good to have a few more tubes, like one or two more tubes, because you might need to apply a lot of paint on the canvas. And the bigger the canvas, the bigger the quantity of paint you will need. I actually have a lot of tubes because I give a lot of classes, but you will not need so many tubes. I like to use also a tube wringer in order to uh, to extract most of the paint out of a tube. It's not absolutely necessary, but it's a very, very useful tool because by pressing the tube like that, I can really get the maximum of the capacity of the tube. We will also need uh, some brushes, actually some spalter brushes, some cooking tools, I would say, and use uh, now the normal Richter palette. And uh, as you can see, if I put it on my table like that, uh, and if I try to put some paint here, I will put paint also on the table. So there are two possibilities. One is to put it this way, and I can apply the paint here. Or the other one is also to put uh, two wooden parts uh, here and keep it at a horizontal level so that I can apply the paint the way I want. So here I've got a beautiful pink. This time, let's say, let's uh, try to, to apply a thinner layer of the pink. Let's try. As you can see with the blue, I have started a little bit uh, below the top of the canvas. So this time I am going to try to start on top of the canvas. Also, there's another thing that is very important is how do I apply the palette? Do I... Wow. As you can see, the traces that we made uh, with the card before remain visible. So it's very interesting to work with uh, these traces. Let's do it another time. <laughs> 